Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're back on Evanescence. Uh, the song is called This is the last song I'm wasting on you. Uh, it's a Patreon request and I couldn't find a, um, a proper video for this. All I could find was a lyric video, uh, but I'm looking forward to it as I do with all Evanescence songs because I think Amy's got such a fantastic voice. I think the band are amazing. Um, I can't wait to see what this is about. Although I think with the title, it's pl pretty much explanatory uh, that she's going to be writing it about somebody um, who she doesn't care for anymore. And she's, and she's going to stop. Um, this will be the last time that she probably um, gives them any sort of attention. Uh, or, or any of her attention, if you like, because she's she's over, she's done with him. So let's go. Sparkling green, the my own veins. I didn't expect a, like a piano ballad. Um, I mean, it, it could kick off after this, I'm not sure. But it sounds to me like she's struggling to cope um, getting through getting through life and through the day because uh, someone's about to die, someone's about to pass away, she said. Um, I'm not sure who it is. I mean, I've been wrong before when I thought that song was about a sister. Um, but I don't know. Has, has, has anyone else passed away in her life? Um, I don't know. But then again, I could be wrong about that. It might just be metaphorical. I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's continue and see where it goes. Amy's really showing off her vocal control and vocal skills in this song, isn't she? Now, as I thought, um, when I said it might be metaphorical in the first verse, I think where she said, I want, watch it pass away and stuff, I don't think it is a person now. I do think it is saying, when you, when you say that old thing where you say someone's dead to you, um, because, you know, I don't. we're not in the relationship anymore, you hurt me too much, maybe it's this abusive relationship again that she had. Um, and there where it says, honey, you know, uh, you never had hurt you that way. I think that's what he was saying to her to be patronising. Because um, it said you held me down in the in the lyric before, you know, and hurt her and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think this is could be to do with the, uh, the, the abusive relationship that she, that she had. And that the, the, the passing away is metaphorical to do with like, you're dead to me and I don't want anything to you to be... I don't want anything to do with you in my life anymore, if you like. You that way. You're just so pretty in your pain. Give up my way. And I could be anything. 
going back to there where he said, you're so pretty in your pain. I was just thinking about it then. Um, that's like narcissistic behaviour, isn't it? And that's someone who's getting enjoyment out of somebody else's misery. Um, that's, you know, that's what I, th yeah, I think it is to do with that relationship. She's painting this guy out to be an absolute monster uh, by enjoying her pain and the fact that he gives a senseless hate. Uh, and, you know, maybe this is why, if it is the guy, is it the guy from Seether? I can't remember who it was, who was in the, who was in the abusive relationship. Um, and if it is him, and he said he was like, the breakup wasn't as bad as you thought it was, I think that he may have been challenging this song because she's, she's making him out, Amy's making him out to be an absolute monster in this song. And then she's like, she's had enough saying this is the last song that I'm wasting on you. So I won't sing, obviously I won't sing any more songs about you anymore because I'm just wasting my breath, etc. You're dead to me. That's, that's, that's where I think the whole thing of the song is. I think it's quite uh, self-explanatory, but I will still look up the song meaning. So What a sad, sad song about personal trauma within a relationship and uh, dealing with a narcissist. That's what it is coming across as. I mean, obviously, nobody knows what happens behind closed doors. And all you can do is uh, take her side from it, from this song and other songs that she's wrote about, that she's wrote about the, uh, the situation she was in, in this relationship. But she's also saying there that um, I'm older now and you'll not be able to manipulate me like you used to do. And, you know, you don't come breaking down my door. I've, I've found a way out. It, it's gone. Everything's gone. Forget it now. And I think that's exactly what this song is about. I will look up the song meaning, but I think, like I said, I've got the um, I've got the correct um, thing of the song, meaning of the song. All right, okay. Uh, it says here, during a 2016 interview with uh, us, Amy implied that she wrote this song about Ben Moody, her co-founder in Evanescence. Moody abruptly left the band while they were touring in support of their debut album, Fallen, which was a runaway hit. I found my way out and you'll never hurt me again, she sings on the track. Lee wrote this song at a sound check before a show in Auckland where it flowed out of her. The song came out of a moment where she had to be very strong and very independent, she told Entertainment Weekly. I was in the middle of a tour and I felt so inspired to write that I recorded it in the bathroom on this huge analogue recording device. It's definitely one of those personal hard moments when beauty is born out of pain. Right, so it's the co-founder of Evanescence. Damn you! <laughs> I thought it was going to be the relationship because everything was pointing that way. But obviously I would never have known that anyway. But uh, yeah, so she's writing it about the co-founder of Evanescence who abruptly left the band halfway through a tour. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it upset her. But it did, it did point towards a relationship to, for me <laughs> but anyway um if you like my videos please like and subscribe if you want to support me on patreon then the link is down below thanks for watching as i see you on the next one